Welcome back. Today, we're gonna be walking around this 1970 Corvette. This is a four-speed car with a date code correct 350 under the hood. Should be a good running and driving car. We'll be doing a test drive here shortly. It's got power steering. It's the chrome bumper car with the flip-up headlights. Me walking around it, point out any kind of flaws I can find. That way you know what you're buying before you get here. We try to be as honest as we can. We're gonna tell you everything about the cars we know. And we're gonna show them to you in this video. We do this with every car on the lot. So check out maplemotors.com. Look at all our inventory. We have finance options and shipping options available with a hundred detailed pictures of every car. If you don't mind, hit that subscribe button and it helps us out greatly when you share the videos. Let's get started here. Try to keep my shadow out of the video. Nobody wants to see that. Let's start up here in the front. It looks like this car's got great tread on the tires. Starting out with the tires and the bumpers on the front does have a little bit of oxidation. You can tell they're older. They're not brand new. Definitely older bumpers. You see a little bit of pitting popping up on the bottom side of them. What I'm gonna do is run down the side of the car and look for any chip scratches, issues you need to know about. Got a little bit of oxidation popping up right here. Side pipes look awesome. Paint job's not bad at all. Good shine to it. This pops up. And then you, you gotta kinda push it back down. It doesn't go all the way back down, but it pops up correctly and the windshield wipers come out and start working. Get the T-tops, nice and clean. All the trim on this car is nice and clean. The mirrors look good. So there's a guy that works up here. He's just thinking about keeping this car. The back window pops out, but he's got so many cars. He was like, I can't do it. I can't do it right now. This thing is really nice just to give you an idea. I'm still looking for flaws, guys. There's not that many on this one. Does have the luggage rack. Gas cap. On these gas caps, uh, on these vents, they got a little drain in here. You always want to make sure it's clean. Otherwise, water will build up in here and you'll have water in your gas. Best thing to do is probably blow it out with a light air hose. Nothing, nothing big. It'll mess it up. These back bumpers are in great shape. There's a little spot right there on it. That should wipe off, actually. It's like you're missing your back emblem. I put a tag on it over here so I didn't forget it. You got some oxidation popping up. It's not perfect. Little scratches here and there. But we don't buy perfect cars. We don't really want a perfect car because then you can't practically drive it. Looking down this side. T-tops look pretty good. A little overspray on some of your trim. Not everywhere, that's the first I've seen of it. Hey, looks pretty good on this one. These side pipes are loud on this car. Just wait till I start it up. Made it around pretty quick. Uh, that's just because there's not that many flaws popping up. Paint jobs in great condition. Nice and clean under the hood as well. Let's go ahead and check out the interior now. I'm gonna open the door up, look at the seals. We'll get her started up and I'll give you some undercarriage shots. Opens up nice and easy. The lock does work too. I unlocked it um, before I pulled it out earlier. Door panel's in great shape. Looking around, give you some under shots of the door. 
checking the jams out. Weather stripping, it's hard. It's gonna need to be replaced. Um, soft here, so that, that should help. This one's really hard. It's interior, it looks awesome. Seat's nice and clean, carpet's nice and clean. Back here in the greatest, you see some of this carpet's kind of messing up a little bit. Back of the seat doesn't look too great either. There's a little hole right here and it's kind of scratched up. But you'll hardly ever see that. Let's go ahead and jump in here. This is a four speed car, too. An emergency brake works. Go ahead and pull her out of gear to start her up. Told you it was loud. The little vent thing came up. Windshield wipers. Our oil pressure gauge is not working on this one. We'll wait and try to see if the water temperature gauge is working. It looks like it's not going to, but we'll wait and see. Clock is out on it. Alternator gauge isn't working. Looks like our gas gauge is working. Of course, the brake light's on because I got the emergency brake up. See the tag's working. Go ahead and place your bets. You think the horn works on this one? Showing 95,000 miles on it. I can't stand behind that. It's a 70 model, guys. Radio does not work. Heat does work. You can hear it kick on right now. It's blowing. You probably can't hear it because it's soft. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Let's try that horn. The horn works! I think that's only like three cars this week that the horn's actually worked on. Nice and quiet. See if I get my hand up under here. There we go. Alright guys, I'm going to give you some undercarriage shots. We're going to start up here in the front. Actually, let's start right in the back. We'll do something different. Go all the way around the car. Check out maplemotors.com for additional pictures. Let's look. push on it too hard. Seems like it's starting to stick up. Let's 
try the wipers while we're in here. I mean, not the wipers, the headlight. They come up fast. Hood's nice and clean. Let's see if they go down. They go down fast. Good deal. All right, we're getting ready to take off down the road, do a little test drive, see how she runs and drives. So definitely check that out. The last 30 seconds of this video, you'll see it. It says 1970 Corvette test drive. We do that with every car on the lot. So check out maplemotors.com to see a full list of our current inventory. You can also get shipping and financing options. Post all of it on there with 100 detailed pictures of every car. And I do appreciate y'all watching. So hit that subscribe button. And another thing I appreciate, y'all sharing my videos. You do that a lot, and that helps me out greatly. I want to thank y'all, and uh, let's get to a test drive. Let's have some fun.